What's up guys, this is Tyler from The Harrington's and today I've got a brand new video for you and I'm gonna be demonstrating and showing you step-by-step -step my process for creating multi-cam sequences in Premiere Pro. Now, if you're a wedding filmmaker or really any sort of filmmaker that uses a lot of multi-cam sequences, this is gonna be really awesome for you because I'm gonna show you not only how I sync the clips together, but also how I import them and work with them in Premiere so it's a super easy and streamlined process. Let's jump into it. All right, so welcome to my computer. What you are looking at, this is Premiere Pro CC 2017. I just updated to the newest version. So I'm gonna show you my workflow for syncing these clips. So the first thing you're gonna do is you wanna open Pluralize. Now Pluralize is a software that is really awesome and it helps you to take a bunch of clips and sync them and it's really, really fast and really, really easy. So I've already preloaded all my clips. So you just drag them in uh, from the, your different cameras and it automatically sorts them here based on camera. And then I'm just gonna show you live here what it looks like to sync it. I just hit this sync button, and you can see that it takes um, all these clips and it syncs them together. Perfect, okay. So now this red clip here, um, this one, it looks like it actually wasn't part of the ceremony itself, so I'm just gonna go ahead and delete that. Not a problem. All right, so now the first thing you wanna do is you need to save. Uh, so what I do for every single project is it, within the project itself, Adam and Meredith's wedding here, you can see I have a separate pluralized folder. Within the pluralized folder, I make a folder based on what I am syncing. And then so I have ceremony sync. And then within ceremony sync, you can see here that I save it as ceremony sync title P4P, which is just the pluralized file itself. Okay. So once you've saved that, then you need to actually export the timeline. So uh, you want to, again, same thing, you want to navigate back to your uh, folder that you are using to save everything, save it in the same place, um, title it ceremony sync or whatever, you know, speeches sync or toast sync or whatever it is. Um, today we're using Premiere Pro, um, and then these options down here are kind of self-explanatory. Um, this is the way I do it. So then you hit export, and what you're going to end up with is a uh, P4P file, which is, again, the pluralized file and a ceremony sync XML file. Okay, perfect. So once you've done all this, everything is synced. Now we're gonna go back into Premiere and we are going to make a new folder. We're going to call it ceremony sync. You're seeing a theme here. We're gonna go uh, command I or file import and we're going to navigate back to again, our ceremony sync folder and here we're gonna choose that XML file, okay? We're gonna choose import, it's gonna import the files, do all the stuff, and it's gonna leave us with this synced sequence right here. So the first thing I do right off the bat is name it, <laughs> ceremony sync, just so I always know what it is. Okay, we'll open it up here so you can see what we're working with. All right, so what you see here is exactly what we had in Pluralize. Okay, so it you can see that it automatically made this uh, clip here red, which is the one that we, I thought we deleted, I guess not, no big deal, because um, it's not synced, but you can see here that we have the three different tracks representing our three different video uh, cameras that we were using. Okay, so if I go to a section here where all three are rolling, you can see uh, what we're working with here. We have camera three is this back center angle. Camera two is the uh, 5D on the right side of the ceremony. And camera three is my C100 on the left side of the ceremony. Okay, perfect. So. Um, if you really want and you really love using all these different tracks and stuff, you can just edit just like this. And if you really want, you know, you can take out pieces to expose layers below it, yada, yada, yada. But we're not going to do that. We're going to make this really easy and really clean because it's all about keeping our timeline clean. That's the most important. So the first thing I'm going to do is delete all the tails off my audio. All right. So now what we need to do is we're going to do Command A to select all. We're going to right click on our clips and we're going to choose Nest. Okay. It's gonna ask you for a name. We're gonna call this Ceremony Nest. Okay, perfect. Okay, so now we've taken those three files and it's compressed them down into just one. And then the last thing we need to do is we're gonna right click again. We're gonna to go to multi-camera and hit enable. Okay, this is where the magic happens. So again, we're gonna go back over here where all three cameras are rolling simultaneously. And I'm gonna show you, if I click up here, I have a separate uh, workspace for multi-cam editing. Uh, so if I click on that, and then I choose this little toggle right here, which is toggle multi-camera view, click that. You can see here now, we can see all three of our camera angles all at the same time, okay? This is so awesome. So if you're doing a really long edit and you're gonna do the entire ceremony, what you could actually do from here is you can hit this little record button right here, 
hit play, and then you can just start to uh, choose the uh, click on these different clips, and it's automatically going to jump between them. You can also use your keyboard, and if I hit number one, it'll give me camera one. Hit number two on my keyboard, it'll give me camera two, etc. But if you watch down here, when I stop recording and I uh, hit pause, you can see that it's automatically recording all of these cuts that we just made. So say we made a, we flubbed up on one, we said, you know, actually I want this to be, uh, oops, uh, this to be uh, camera one. Okay, so all I have to do is come back over here and hit camera one. Oh, it is camera one. Uh, hit camera three, right? I uh, hit three on my keyboard and it automatically jumps to be camera three right here. Uh, if say, you know, we want to make our transition to be in a different place, all we have to do is hit N on the keyboard. We get this little slide tool and we can slide the point in which our cut is made forwards or backwards or wherever we want it to be. Okay, so this is a super, super powerful tool uh, because it just helps, again, to keep everything super nice and clean and it's uh, just a really awesome way to switch between all the different camera angles. Now, if I go back into my feature film assembly here, and let's see if we can find, so here, okay, so feature film. Here's the feature film cut together, and if we jump down to the middle here, right, so we can see here we have an instance where the ceremony is being used. We'll toggle this back off. You can see this is an area where the ceremony is being used. And once it loads up here, you can see uh, that it'll be really easy for me to switch. Oh, sorry, this is actually uh, speeches. Same thing, no big deal. So if I want to go to a different camera angle, all I have to do is hit number two. And we are looking at the different camera angles that we have available to us. And it's really, really easy. And instead of having to have a bunch of different levels of this track and taking up you know more than one of our tracks here it's all compressed down to one and it's really easy to jump in between them and if we want to just make a cut cut here choose this one make it number two and then we can really easily have it jump to here and then jump back to number one so see it looks like that we'll go back to here and then boom we're right back so as you guys can see, this is a super, super useful tool and I use it for every single wedding and any kind of multicam shoot. It doesn't have to be for weddings. This can be for literally anything you're doing with multicam. So I hope you guys found this helpful. And if you did, uh, go ahead and leave a comment and go ahead and subscribe because I'm going to do a lot more educational content like this in the future. And if you have any questions, uh, I'd love to answer them. Please leave a comment below and I will answer your question. So thanks guys. This has been Tyler from the Harringtons and I will see you in the next one.